That's, that's, you don't have to if you don't. Okay. <laughs> mine. Hi, I'm Katie Allman reporting for Katie Chats at the 65th Annual Canadian Screen Awards at the Sheridan Centre in downtown Toronto. Esmer, Hello. what are you most looking forward to for tonight's festivities? Well, you know, it's it's uh, it's exciting in general that uh, there's going to be. I mean, like, we already saw Calm Fior, we already met him. People that I've worked haven't worked with and like haven't seen in years. That's exciting. But I'm presenting the last awards of the night, so there's a lot of pressure on that because I feel like if you've ever been a part of a relay race, the anchor has to determine the whole thing, and also the anchor can also mean someone who weighs down the whole thing and just drops it right mm -hmm. to the ground. So I don't want to be that guy, mm -hmm. you know, where the show ends up on the on a uh, seabed. That's not. I want to be the guy who just wins the gold at the uh, as the anchor, you know, because I get a. I don't know if they're actually doing a baton thing last this year because uh, they did one last year. It got a little messy, but uh, that's that's the thing I'm personally most excited for. And best international drama. I get to announce Absolutely, that. That's Isn't that one. exciting? Yeah. Absolutely. I also think we, I I think the listener got nominated for like a hundred awards tonight. Yeah. So I'm just excited to just reel in all that hardware. Great. And yeah. you're also in Sex After Kids. You play the role of Ben. Yeah. How, how does it feel to have had an, no, it's not. An ex it. Yeah. How does it feel to have an extended run on Sex After Kids? It's been pretty amazing. You know what I mean? For something that started out as an Indiegogo project that uh, Jeremy Lalonde, who was an editor on, uh, is a great editor, and uh, he edits on uh, You Gotta Eat Here with John Cattucci and uh, Wipeout Canada. That's where we met. The fact that he went on that, like, you know, called all these, not even just favors, but just friends of his within the industry to get this little movie going for the little amount that it cost. He did, you know, he worked his ass off on the festival circuit, getting Avi Fettergreen involved. It's been, what, five weeks now in the city. It's playing all over the country. It's more than I could have expected, you know, when I agreed to pretend I had a baby for a few days on the weekend awesome. a year and a half ago. But it's, it's been incredible. And go see it, really, because if you, if you want to be, if you want to see what it's like to have kids or sex or try to integrate them as a thing, that's dangerous, you know, so, yeah. A lot of people text me like, it really warmed my heart, and then it also made me want to never have children, so. I don't know if that's what we were going for, but, have you seen the movie? I have, it's very and funny. Does it make you want to have kids? I don't know, I'm on the fence. Yeah. Do you have any children now? Uh, no. Okay, because that would have been like bad if you're like, well, I, I kind of regret the kids I already have. Well, if you want to take them off my hands. Well, thank you so much thank on that note, so and have a great time tonight. Do I, what do we do? I shake it. Oh, very like a... <laughs> I, I was thank expecting you. like a fist pump. Oh, sorry. We'll cut around all I, that. I'm slow. I'm uh, slow. We'll be right back.